To view a reflection or to look through all of your reflections, you just need to click on the Reflections tab at the top of your page. Once you've done this, you'll see a list of all of the reflections that have been added to your account. If I click on one now, just to talk you through this. So now I've clicked on a reflection and at the top I can see the title and I can see the visibility and status of the reflection as well. So at the moment, this reflection is visible to the author and all staff. If that needs to be changed, you can just do so from the drop down list. The same with the status, you can see that this reflection is ready for discussion, but if I want to change that, I can do that from that drop down list. Going back to the top, you can see that no children are linked to this reflection. Now, when you look down through the reflection, what it will show you is a timeline of everything that's happened involving this reflection. So any th reflections or observations that have been linked to this reflection that were added before this reflection was made will show us links that have prompted that reflection. So here we can see an observation that obviously prompted the thought for this reflection. Then underneath, in the yellow box, you can see the actual reflection and the notes that were made for it. We can also see any media that has been linked to it. Then underneath this, you can see the comments that any other staff members have made. This bit is the really useful part of a reflection because it's where staff can actually discuss the thought process, whether they want to add it in the setting um, and any other thoughts that other members of staff have. If you've got any thoughts that you want to add to a reflection, you can do that in the add a comment box and to add the comment you just need to click on the add reply button. Then underneath this you can see any links that have followed the reflection. So because it's a timeline, we've seen things that prompted the reflection, we've seen the actual reflection, now we can see things that happen as a consequence of the reflection. So we can see here, we've got an observation that has been made after the reflection was made. Remember, you can tell whether it's been a reflection or an observation linked through these icons. So this eye icon shows that it's an observation. If it was a cloud icon, that would mean it was a reflection that's been linked. At the very bottom, you can see the impact of the reflection. So that might not be filled in yet, and it's something you can do once you've seen the consequences of that reflection. If I now go back to the main reflections page, I'll just show you how you can filter and sort through these. So you can use the search bar if you've got a specific keyword that you want to look for, or if you click on the filter and sort reflections button, here you can filter what reflections you can see. And you can do this by things like status, whether there's any media added, and things like that. Also at the top, if you click on this flags tab, this will allow you to filter by flags that have been included in reflections. So you can choose a flag set, and you can also filter by any further categories that that flag set has. So here we can see that there's one reflection that we've got that includes all of those things. Going back to the main reflections tab, just to quickly talk you through the options that you see on the main page. Here you can see the status of the reflection and the visibility at the top, and you can see any children linked, and you can also see the flag sets that have been enabled. Clicking on the cog button will allow you to view the history, change the visibility of the reflection, delete it, change the author, download any photos or videos that are included, and it will also allow you to link any other reflections or observations to it.